Thank you, Dr. Negri. Dr. Negri is a very good friend and I'm delighted to, that uh, we could have him on the program and understand what is successfully being happening in Israel. We will come, we will uh, go back to our schedule and we'll ask uh, uh, Nora Lucia Rodriguez, uh, advisor at uh, Pan American Health Organization on cold chain management injection safety and syringe quality control to help us understand the challenges in the Latin America and the Caribbeans uh, about distribution. Nora, please. Uh, thank you, Jadine, and good morning, uh, everyone. Um, it's a good, great pleasure uh, to be with you today. And uh, I was invited to present on the topic of ultra cold chain and distribution of COVID-19 vaccines. Next slide. COVID-19 vaccines are being produced using different platforms like RNA, DNA, and vital vectors. These vaccines are less stable based on their thermal stability. The other vaccines are inactivated, attenuated virus, virus like particles, protein subunits. These vaccines are more stable based on their thermal stability. The challenges here are with those vaccines that require ultra low temperature. Next slide, please. Based on the different platforms used in the development of COVID-19 vaccines, there are three ranges of uh, temperatures, 2 to 8 Celsius degrees, minus 20 Celsius degrees, and between minus 60 to minus 80 Celsius degrees. Please note that vaccines stored at ultra low temperatures requires a special ultra low temperature freezers, training and PPE. Next. Next please. Ultra cold chain is defined as the storage of products between minus 60 to minus 90 Celsius degrees. Pfizer thermal stability at ultra cold chain conditions between minus 60 to minus 90 degrees, the vaccine is stable for six months. Vaccine also can be stored at refrigerated temperature to two to eight Celsius degrees and is stable for five days. After vaccine is diluted, is stable for six hours. Once the vaccine is taut, cannot be refrozen. And full towing occurs approximately in three hours at two to eight Celsius degrees and 30 minutes at ambient temperature. Next, please. There are two major ways for ultra cold chain storage using ULT freezers and dry ice. The use of ULT freezers requires highly stable power source and generator backups, and also requires temperature control room and the use of PPE. Pfizer provides a thermal container that countries can use for 30 days, but have to be re-iced. Each container has a full load of dry ice of 20 kilograms, and that provides approximately eight days of holdover. Pfizer recommends reicing every five days. Next, please. Regarding the product Pfizer vaccine vial comes with 0 0.45 milliliters of frozen liquid. Now, the new profile indicates that vaccine after dilution provides six doses. The secondary package contains 195 vials. Using the six dose per vial, there are 1,170 doses. Next, please. 
Each Pfizer container comes with a temperature monitoring device, which includes GPS for remote temperature monitoring. And also countries can reuse this logger and also temperature records of the achievement can be shared. Next, please. Uh, next, please. Yes, thank you. Uh, the main challenges in the use of ULT freezers requires a stringent operation conditions, control ambient temperature of less than 27 Celsius degrees and humidity less than 50%. Also, ULT freezers are big consumers of energy requiring stable source of energy and a backup generator. To transport the vaccine at minus 60 to minus 80 degrees, it requires a specific cold packs using phase change materials and also new generation insulated containers are in the market. Next, please. Ultra low temperature storage options at the central storage the, we can use large ULT freezers and a small ULT freezers as backup and for storing PCM packs. For remote storage, we have two options, a small ULT and long range cold storage device as ARTE containers for short term storage at minus 70 Celsius degrees. We can use up to five days at remote storage and vaccination sites. Next, please. We have different options for passive containers. One working we can use is the thermal container provided by Pfizer. Also, we can use the vaccine carriers used in immunization activities, the cold boxes and the Arctic container. What PCM to use? We can use water and ice, dry ice, and PCM packs. There are two factors to consider for the selection, the storage temperature and the duration of the storage. And this is based on the insulation of the container and the required storage capacity. Next, please. The options for packing and transporting vaccine storage to storage will require using special insulated containers with dry ice. And also we can use uh, long-term storage devices like Arctic with PCM packs. A storage to a storage, uh, storage to vaccination sites, we can use uh, high density vaccine carriers with water and ice packs. And also um, we can use a special long range cold storage device with uh, frozen uh, PC, PCM packs or dry ice. Next slide. The preparation of the PCM packs requires uh, four steps. The first steps uh, requires filling the PCM packs with the PCM liquid. The second step requires pre-freezing PCM packs at minus 20 Celsius degrees for 24 hours. Then the third step is you put these PCM packs in the ULT freezer at minus 80, 80 degrees Celsius for 24 hours. And the step four, we can use these uh, PCM packs and load them into the Arctic container. Next, please. For the national level storage options, we have two, large and medium ULT. For the large uh, ULT, the pros is that requires low installation requirement versus the walking court rooms. We have different capacities between 500 and 1,000 liters that accommodate approximately 30,000 vials. 
Also, uh, we have these uh, uh, freezers uh, with different alarms for high and low temperature and also the open door and power failure. The medium ULT has uh, different low, large ranges of temperatures between uh, minus 85 degrees to minus 15 degrees. The capacity is uh, 20 liters that accommodate 3,000 vials. And it's important because they require minimum space occupation. Next, please. Ultra low temperature transport containers uh, have two options. Cryogenic passive container. Uh, these are made for the poppers and are available in the market and the temperature ranges are between minus 80 to minus 60 Celsius degrees, and the ranges of capacity are between 3.4 to 6.2 liters, and the cold life is measured of uh, 54 hours. The other option is the passive cooling device, like uh, we uh, were talking before, uh, the Arctic container, that is designed for use with eye packs and also we can use dry ice for this uh, uh, container. The large capacity range is five to two liters and, um, and also comes with, uh, with loggers. Next, please. Uh, the safety measures includes uh, always handle dry ice with insulated gloves when it comes so to a special uses such as blasting or cleaning with dry eyes. Eye and face protection is highly recommended. Only use appropriate storage containers and dry eyes should always be transported in a separate compartment from the driver. Never leave dry eyes in the car for long uh, period of time. Next, please. Currently, 12 countries in the region have introduced COVID-19 vaccines. 10 countries are using Pfizer vaccine with the exception of Argentina that is using a Sputnik vaccine and Brazil that is using Sinovac vaccine. USA is using also Moderna vaccine. Next, please. This slide shows the number of doses that have been administered in the region. As of January 26, as you see, US has administered the most doses to date. Thank you very much for your attention and I'm, I'm be glad to uh, answer any question. Thank you so much. Thank you, Nora Lucia Rodriguez. I uh, am sure that the audience have much better understanding of the challenges and the technology that is included in the distribution. I appreciate uh, your excellent delivery.